wait a minute. I know all these spells. I've heard of this stuff before. I know what's going on, everyone. And one's like, whoa, what, what is it? What is it, Master Genkai? These abilities were known by masters from centuries ago. But they died hundreds of years ago! Hello, and thank you for checking out the video. I just want to let you know that I not only create content on my YouTube channel, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I review movies, cartoons, and TV shows live, while also playing single-player games and multiplayer games. I also have a Patreon, where subscribers have access to hundreds of video and audio commentaries for films and cartoons, as well as podcasts and videocasts. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. Enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get into Yu Yu Hakusho episode 12, which again, I said, it spoils, it spoils the episode. It literally says the rise of Randy the demon, so he succeeds, and the fall of Kubar. Why would you call it that? Why, why, should, why shouldn't you just call it Randy, Randy the demon versus Kubar? Okay, he might win. He's been doing pretty well at this point. So I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, so everyone finally figured out through process of elimination that Shorin, the very humble, the very meek, the very polite monk krillin s character is actually Randy the Demon Chat, which, you know, Yusuke and, and Botan and Kuwabara have been trying to suss out this entire time. That was the last person they thought. I mean, I mean, fucking Yusuke is like, well, maybe, maybe, maybe it's, you know, the, the Nazi. Could be the Nazi. Could be the samurai guy. Uh, you know, maybe it was the green-haired guy, but no, it was the person they, they thought would never have been Randy, chap. But it is. It is indeed Shorn, but he's still doing the act. He's still super polite, super humble, uh, but they're like, nah, this guy's definitely Randy. You know, they're like, you can't, you can't, you can't say otherwise. It's, it has to be him. It has to be him. And Yusuke, just, he's still kind of under disbelief. He's like, I mean, yeah, I know it's, I know that's Randy, but he, I just thought he'd be cooler. Thought he'd have like a cooler outfit. Why would he dress up as Krillin? Hey, fucking Krillin gets, as we all know, chat, gets Android 18. Krillin won. Krillin won in Dragon Ball Z. You know, he has the, probably the healthiest relationship out of all of those guys when it comes to, like, you know, a marriage. I mean, Goku and Chi-Chi, Jesus Christ, don't even get me started on that. That, that is just, that just shouldn't have happened. Vegeta, I mean, initially of Bulma, kind of abandoning her. I mean, she's rich and wealthy and shit, but not great emotional support, abandoning her after she gives birth to Trunks. But he later became a better husband and a better, and a better person, which is nice. You know, anyone thinks he is mad because you're calling him Randy. I guess so. I guess so. I'm calling him Randy, goddammit. That's that's that that's his name. His name. I know it's called Rando, but it's easy for me to remember Randy, because you know, we, you know, you know I, don't, I don't I've never met anyone named Rando. I've met a couple of Randys in my life, chap. I know of characters animated shows that are called Randy. But I never met a Rando, so I'm gonna call him Randy. But uh but as I was saying, chap, like marriages, you know, Krill and Android 18, they have the healthiest relationship. They have a daughter, they clearly love each other, they support each other emotionally, physically, chat. Plus she's hot, so you know that helps, that helps, that helps. Um, and maybe that's why he took it, Chip. He was like, hey, little do you know, I could potentially get an Android 18 myself, though. I don't think that's going to happen now, Chip. But Yusuke's like, I just thought he'd be cooler looking. And Botan's like, listen, don't underestimate him. Randy has been doing this crazy shit for centuries. We, we, we don't know how powerful he actually is because he's killed like 99 psychic warriors, Chad. He wants to do, he wants to kill Genkai to get her Psy Wave Blast so she, he can kill even more people. Apparently, if you use the Psy, if you, if you, if you use the Psy Wave Blast improperly, you can kill up to like 100 people per strike. So it's like, fuck, that's a lot. And, like, we can't have that happen. So don't underestimate him just based on his physical appearance. And Yusuke's like, all right, all right. But then Kuwabara... He, he's very overconfident at this point, Chad. And funny enough, he's voiced by Vegeta. Vegeta's, what's, the, what's, what's his fatal flaw? His, his arrogance. Always, Chad, that's Saiyan pride. And he's like, this little pip squeak, I can take him, don't worry. And Yusuke's like, cool, Baro, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 like, listen, this is, this clearly, remember that demon we were telling you about like a couple episodes ago? He goes, yeah. He's like, this is Randy, all right? He's clearly Randy, so he's very powerful and very dangerous. I, I think you should probably throw the match. He's like, what are you saying, Yusuke? You, what, you don't want me to? To win this match so you can't fight me. He's like, no, you idiot. That's not what I'm saying. And he's like, let me go ahead and fight this Randy. He he looks, he does, he looks weak. I'll, I'll, I bet I'll beat him with only a couple strikes. And they argue back and forth, back and forth. And, and Shorin's just being patient. Shorin's just watching these two doing this thing, or Randy the Demon. He's watching them, and eventually he's like, 
hey, are you, uh, are you guys done, or do you need a room to fuck? And they're like, shut up, Randy, shut up. And he's like, all right, what are we going to fight? He's like, get out of here, Yusuke, I'll fuck you. I mean, I'll fight you later. It's like, clearly, Kuwabara and Yusuke are lovers. I mean, that has to happen. The, the amount of time those two go at each other, and yet they really care about each other. It's, okay, these two... It's, it's a lot of foreplay with them. Like, I, I, I imagine, oh my god, chat, the erotic fan fictions featuring Cool Bar and Yusuke. There must be thousands of stories. The possibilities. But Randy's like, are you done? Are you, are you two done? And they're like, yeah, we're done. And, you know, at this point, Randy's like, all right, fantastic. I was, I was so excited to start fighting. And then Cool Bar was like, all right, little guy, let's go. And Cool Bar, he just runs up to him and goes, and fucking Randy goes down. He basically almost knocks Randy out. And he's like, oh, I didn't I didn't mean to hurt you that bad. He's like, oh. <laughs> but he like with one fucking punch. He just ran up to him, bop, bopped him in the fucking face, and he's down. And uh uh, everyone's like, holy shit, did he just win? He's like, I think I think I just won. Everyone's in other disbelief. Genkai's like, it's far from over. And uh, Botan's like, maybe Randy's just playing with Kuwabara. Let's watch. And, you know, at this point, you know, uh, little Randy, he, little Shorn, he gets up, and he starts throwing all these punches at Kuwabara, and he just, he's, he's just avoiding them or he's blocking them chat and then he just punches little randy again randy goes down again just falls and he's like wow this is easier than i thought it would be and randy's like oh i didn't think i'd have to use uh, uh any of my power to fight you but in this case i must use one of my most powerful techniques <laughs> and he starts doing a dragon ball z power up now i don't understand this in anime why would you Ever let these characters power up at this point? Like, why would you let fucking Frieza transform and have Goku go Super Saiyan? He's like, if I'm a guy, he's like, oh, fuck, I know. I'm going to attack them. But they always wait. Is it an honor thing? Is it an honor thing, Chad? I don't know, but he fucking cool. Oh, it's like, okay, I'll just wait. And he just lets Kuwabara just go. Ah, 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 like he's trying to poop or something. And, it's, and they start to see, like, this little red flame forming between... Uh, Randy's uh, hands. It looks like like a little fireball, and eventually he's like he separates it, and, ah, and he has these two fireballs in his hand, and he starts like throwing them at uh, Cool Bar. He's like, oh, fire bad, like you know, it's pride and honor. Ah, got it. I'd be like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I would be like, I'm gonna attack you mid transformation so I can kill you quick. I ain't letting someone get Super Saiyan or freeze a Form Seven on me. No fucking thank you. But he starts throwing all these fireballs at Kuwa Bar. Kuwa's like, ah, ah, and he's dodging him. And like they're kind of singeing his clothes a little bit. But for the most part, for the most part, he's 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 dodged them. And Botan and Yusuke are like, Kuwa Bar, get your head in the game. Attack him. He's like, okay. And he just runs up to Randy and punches him in the face again. And Randy goes down again. And he's like, ah, yeah, it was easy. Oh, actually, you know what happens to him after this? Because then uh, Randy gets up and he's still throwing the fireballs at him. And Kuwa Bar activates his lightsaber. I mean, spirit sword and he starts literally batting the fireballs back at little randy and he hits one and it just it just hits it just hits little randy right in his chest he goes and he doubles over but eventually he gets back up and he's like i never thought i would have to use his attack i haven't used it in so long and this one takes even longer than the fireballs chat even longer than the fireballs where he starts doing this mumbo jumbo like magic spell and he's like utarino reina sandorin bash came by is like what the hell he's speaking to tons and kubar was just like i'm gonna wait until you finish <laughs> he's like no run up to him when he's making all these fucking magic words and stab him in the tummy with your spirit sword but he doesn't do that yeah and you know he eventually you scan boats hunter like what are you doing kubar take him out he's like oh yeah and he starts running he starts running, but then Genkai, all of a sudden, Genkai's like, wait a minute, I know all these spells, I've heard of this stuff before, I know what's going on, everyone, and one's like, whoa, what, what is it, what is it, Master Genkai, these abilities were known by masters from centuries ago. But they died hundreds of years ago. And they're like, oh my god, he really truly must be Randy the Demon. And as Kuwabara gets closer and closer to Randy, Randy finally unleashes the spell. And Kuwabara shrinks in size. He's like, he becomes like 
like two inches or something. He's like, whoa, what's going on? And like, there's a caterpillar nearby. It's kind of like nibbling on his leg. He's like, I want to eat you. He's like, oh, caterpillar, you shrunk me to the size of a bug. And fucking Randy's like, yes, and now I shall destroy you. It's like, whoa, his whole, his whole calm demeanor, that was a facade chat. And he grabs, he grabs Kuwabara. And we get to the fucked up part of the episode. He starts squeezing him like this. He's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, the human anatomy is so fun to play with. I wonder if I squeeze you harder, I can break your bones. Kubo's like, oh! And he's like, you know what? I think I'll start with your arm. <laughs> and he, like, rips off, like, Kuwabaro's, like, a uh, sleeve. And he just takes his arm and goes, Bang! and he just snaps. And he's like, oh! And at this point... Yusuke and Botan, they're panicking because he's like, he's going to fucking kill him. Master Genkai, can't you, can't you just call the match here? He clearly has, he clearly has uh, a cool bar beaten. And Genkai's like, give me a minute. I can decide when the match is over. Okay, it's over. Shorin. Sharon, stop crushing Kuwabara. And he's like, what? I can't hear you over the breaking bones. Snap. And he snaps his other fucking arm. He's like, ugh. And he's like, and now I'll break your ribs. And he fucking breaks his ribs, just squeezing him even harder. And Gun Guy at this point is like, I said stop. The match is over. You have won, Sharon. And he's like, <laughs> oh. I know I've won. And he just fucking, he, all, he, all he does is he just, he pulls his heart back and fucking yeets. Just throws Kuwabara. It's like, oh shit. And he lands somewhere. They didn't know where he landed. Like, Botan and Yusuke, they're looking for him at this point. Like, oh god, where, where, where did he go? And then fucking Shorn starts doing the mumbo jumbo spell. Uta, rina, ranishkamba. And then, boop. And then uh, Kuwabara comes back to his regular height. But his fucking body is fucked up. It's all twisted and broken. His arms are broken. His ribs are broken. Chat internal bleeding. He's got he's shitting blood everywhere. It's like oh, it looks bad. It do, it does not it does not look good at this point. Chat looks pretty bad. And cool bro is like Yusuke. He's like what is it, buddy? He's like fucking get a punch in for me. And he dies. It's like oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> They killed him. They killed him. <laughs> it's like, wow. I mean, he got really fucked up. That's what happens, chap. When you squish someone's inside and you break their ribs and you break both their arms, like, there's a lot of internal trauma going on. But then Botan's like, he's barely clinging to life. He's, he's, his, his body is at an impasse. He might win this fight. She's like, but this might be beyond my healing capabilities, Yusuke. It might be beyond my healing capabilities. And this time, Genkai, she's looking at Shore and she's like, oh, this guy is trouble. And then um, uh, fucking Randy starts uh, monologuing. He's like, you know, I never have used that technique in like hundreds of years, usually because it takes so, uh, so long to do it. But with Master Genkai's abilities, I'll be able to use the Psy Wave attack and kill 100 people at once. Isn't that correct, Master Genkai? And she's like, yes, if used improperly. Will you use it improperly? Sure, and he goes... Uh, of course not. <laughs> it's like, of course he will. <laughs> of course he's gonna, why is she asking that fucking question? But she's like, all right, everybody, all right. Now it's time for the final match. Yusuke versus Shorin slash Randy the Demon. And Yusuke's just fucking pissed. And he comes in there, Chad, and he's using, because he, they're in the dead spirit valley. And so Yusuke is just absorbing more spirit energy, just getting fucking buff. Just getting fucking buff, chat. And he just fucking runs up. He's like, Aah! and he just runs up on Shorin slash Randy the Demon and just starts pummeling the shit out of him. And even Randy's like, oh shit. <laughs> he didn't expect that. And like, where Yusuke's like, he's, his, his fists are being fused with spirit energy. And just pop, 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 pop. Just starts beating the hell out of them. And even fucking Shorin slash Randy's like, Jesus. I, I didn't I didn't think a human was capable of using that much spirit energy in those punches. I gotta fucking up my game. I gotta use a technique I've only and he says it's his favorite technique. It's his favorite technique, but he's only used it a couple times. And it's called the suckle tornado, which I'm like, what is the suckle tornado? I guess he's suckling on his teeth, goes <laughs> he's like suckling chat, and then he he like shoots out this wind attack or something. 
And he explains, as it's about to hit Yusuke, who is too busy to... I mean, he was just in shock that Randy was sucking on his own teats. He was like, that's fucking weird. He didn't hear what he said, Chad. So apparently the suckle tornado, what happens is you shoot out like this wind and it goes inside of the body of the person you're attacking and the excess air shoots out of all of your wounds, Chad. So you have cuts and things on your face or whatever, or you like on your body, it'll shoot out of there and it'll be really painful. So he basically inflates you and then and you fart out all the air. And it's but it's not like a like a oh that was a good fart or something. Like, all right, I needed that. I need to clear myself out. No, it's like a really bad, like I think there's something wrong with me. I think I blew out my anus like fart. And so he's just filling <laughs> he's filling Yusuke with his suckled tornado attack, Chad. And he's like, ah oh, he's farting and everything. But he gets back up, Chad. He gets back up. And he continues, and fucking Yusuke continues, despite the being filled with gas. He's, he still beats the shit out of uh, Randy, Chad. And then Randy just fucking falls down. It's like, fucking Yusuke's like, yeah, bro. And he, he gets rid of the excess gas. And he runs up back to Master Genkai. And he's like, there you go, old lady. I just defeated Randy the Demon, his supposedly favorite, most powerful technique, and I still beat him. <laughs> and she's like, the, the match is over, Yusuke. I haven't called it. Can't you sense him? And he's like, what? And he turns around, and then we see the body of Shorn. He's like, <laughs> you have underestimated me, human. I have not shown my demon form to anyone that is still alive therefore all of you must die and then all of a sudden like the earth begins to shake and it cracks open like there's an earthquake and Shorn's little uh, emaciated body falls in and then what shoots out Chad is Randy's true form and he's just this this ebony demon with this like luscious uh, mane of hair, chat, and he's like strutting his stuff, and everyone's like, oh my god, he's hot! And that, my friends, is my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown, chat, for Yu Yu Hakusho, episode 12, chat. Ah, the final fight between Yusuke and Randy the Ebony Demon is upon us! And I'm very excited. <laughs> so many farts. A lot of excess gas, man. And he's like, oh. <laughs> he's just like, no. <laughs> thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Glee, thank you for the 100 biddies. <laughs> well done. Thank you so much, good sir. Oh, my God. Medina was my nickname in high school. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Bravo, take my, oh, I will. I will. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'm going to say right away, I honestly find Rando to be a more threatening villain in his Shorn disguise. When you see his real form. There's a legit creepy character. He's like a childlike monk who takes pleasure in torturing his bone. Yes. I agree. His little impish smile never goes away. He's a scary, uh, he's, he's a scary villain in short. I like, no, I like that too because it goes against the grain, what you expect from like a, you know, like a demon character. Like the fact that he's like this child. He's like, yeah, I take pleasure in this. I like that too. And here he says, he's just sexy. He just turns into his new form and he's just like, hi, everybody. And it's like, damn, you're kind of hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's some good points. Probably shouldn't just wait for people to power up. Exactly. I mean, that's a, that's an anime thing though. I know. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> that's always been a part of anime. That's, I mean, that's Dragon Ball 101. Everyone's like, well, hold on. I want to see him power up. Even Goku's like, I want to get even stronger. He's like, shut up, Goku. No, we don't. We want to defeat him so he stops killing us and people. But come on, guys. I want a good fight. Goku, people have died. Your wife is dead. I know she's dead, but I really want to fight. It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, yes. Voice gets a little deeper, though. Oh, yeah. he do No, it does. it does. It drops a couple of octaves. Yeah, Goku is an idiot. True. <laughs> That is true. And Vegeta, his whole thing. I mean, but Vegeta does the same thing, but he wants, I want to prove myself that I'm more powerful than you. And he always gets his ass kicked right after, chat. Arrogance will be your undoing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Luke Skywalker said the Papa Palpatine chat, and it holds true to this day. But hope you enjoyed this review, chat. We'll be, uh, for tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a spoiler review, a scene-by-scene-by-scene, by-scene breakdown for an extremely goofy movie. And then Wednesday, Fifty Shades Darker, chat. The sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey. Very excited about it. Goku was literally dropped on his head. But true, he's derpy. Like, he has, he has brain damage. That's true. Yep. 
Yeah, but Jesus know better. That's why I always like Trunks. Didn't fuck around. Yeah, I like, yeah, exactly. Uh, Trunks, I like Trunks a lot. Gohan, looks like they're going to be making some changes to Gohan. I know they have that new Dragon Ball movie coming out, Dragon Ball Super movie, and they seem to be going like, all right, we're going to fix Gohan. Finally. Be, be, take him back to what he was when he, like, at the end of the Cell arc, which was so cool. Like, I, I to this day, I still say, Goku, they should have never brought back Goku. You know, it's, Gohan should have taken on the mantle of Earth's protector and stuff. He's a better person than his father. So that would have been better, but, you know. It been. But then in the Boo arc, and then the Boo arc happened, Chad. And the only thing I like about the Boo arc is that Vegeta finally realized, like, I'm an asshole, aren't I? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was the only person who was really not like, yeah. Yeah, true. Tomorrow's review is going to be super, super fun. Yeah, an extremely goofy movie. <laughs> Yuck, indeed. We need to review Stripes and I read that. Actually, won a poll. That won a poll, so we'll definitely review that in the future. Yes, I like future Gohan with one. Oh, yeah, that's the best Gohan. I like that Gohan, too. Agreed. The Go yeah, Boo Saga was a super mixed bag. I think that's the worst season of Z, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I like saying the Namekian and the Cell arc much better. It the, the, the Z should have ended with the Cell, in my opinion. Uh, go on bullshit at Super Saiyan. <laughs> I was cool though. He fucking is walking and sells like, oh my god. I like that. Yeah, that was when I was watching DBZ back in the day, chat. Uh, also, DBZ a bridge is awesome. Is what was his? I did it my way. As he's getting blasted. Very funny. But now, my friends, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to some of that Far Cry 6 shenanigans.